In this video I'm going to show you some changes I made to my old DIY printer. This one's got the NEMA 17 on the extruder and the BMG clone and it really needs some improvements. I started out by replacing Marlin with Clipper and Clipper is completely new to me. This is the Orange Pi 02. It's a small single board computer that should be good enough for running Clipper and it's got this small Wi-Fi antenna as well. I needed an enclosure for this one and I found something on uh, printables that I remixed, made it a little bit smaller and uh, just had the antenna outside the box and not inside like in the original design. The kit I bought from Triangle Lab also had an expansion board with some more USB outputs but I'm going to use this just for one single printer so I wanted the box to be a little bit smaller. I printed the enclosure in PETG from Sunlu and it came out pretty nice and this is for mounting it to a 2020 extrusion and you have access to all the ports and the SD card as well and the antenna outside. I think it looks quite nice. This is how it looks on the printer and I like that this is now a self-contained printer without any external dependencies. I'm completely new to Clipper, but I decided to go for the main sail web interface. One of the things I really like about Clipper is that you can do configuration changes and see the effects almost immediately. You don't have to recompile like you have to do for a lot of changes in Marlin. There is a learning curve, but there's a lot of good resources out there with discussion groups and also the Warren community is very helpful. By going to Clipper, I also moved most of my macros from the slicer to Clipper. I still have to work on that to get it better than it is now. Just moving to Clipper didn't improve the print results much. Even after tweaking input shaper and pressure advance, the print results wasn't that good. The tool head with the NEMA 17 stepper is too heavy. I have to do something different. I wanted to keep the parts I had in my BMG clone and didn't want to buy anything new. I like the Sherpa Mini, but it is designed for a NEMA 14 with a 10 teeth or 12 teeth gear, which I didn't have. To accommodate the original BMG gear I had to do some changes. It will reduce the torque and it's not ideal, but it works. This is what it looks like on my printer. I'm still using an old V6 hotend. I then reprinted the model for input shaper. The results were completely different from the heavier tool head. And I have to print this again with some more aggressive settings. Some of you might have watched my last video where I showed you this low pass filter with this makeshift power supply. I had to do something better with this. And this is the result. I have physically separated the wiring for the primary and the secondary side of the transformer and added a fuse and the on off switch. And I'm using a D sub for the power out. A tempting next project for me would be to get the Sovol SV08 and use it with a Revo Voron PZ probe. I think that would be a nice combo, but it's sold out. And I can't really afford to do this now, but maybe someday. Thanks for watching and goodbye.